Hey guys, welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. I'm going to do a little bit of a mini unboxing here. So I just got this in and I wanted to share this with you guys. So I'm going to pop this open. I ordered it off of Amazon. So I'm doing a new CNC build and uh, uh, I ran across this. It was like sub 20 bucks and I thought this was really an interesting combo to pick up for that price range. And what it is, is it's a set of metric taps and uh, sort of a speed tap. So, so you get uh, you get the speed tap and uh, it's sort of like those adjustable screwdrivers. So by the, the way you set this is the way it ratchets. And naturally it's got this little T-handle that goes in here that allows you to get more torque. And so you can kind of ratchet it. I'm not sure why, well, I guess you'd probably want to do it the opposite way to, to ratchet it out. You know, instead of the old style of trying to twist it in. So I thought this was an interesting combination. And uh, one of the big reasons I'm sharing this is um, for 3D printing. Yes, 3D printing. I'm going to get the, the taps out so you can kind of see the different taps. Now these are all metric. Now I've got another set. I've actually got several sets of taps. Um, I'm like I need another set of taps, right? But this just kind of intrigued me because the low cost... Um, in the speed tap setup I think it's great for 3D printing because there's a lot of cases and you'll see one come up where I'm going to do I'm going to create a 3D print advice a functional 3D print advice actually um, for working with small you know like jewelry you know watches things like that I ended up getting one and I'll do a little bit of an overlay in the corner off of um, uh, Amazon so I don't know if, which video will come first probably this one will come before the, the uh, vice video. However, I need to actually tap a couple of the holes um, uh, for the, the screws. Now, if you're a Fusion 360 user, owner, user, uh, you know, you can do threaded, th uh, threaded holes in Fusion 360, but I don't know, my experience, they don't come out clean, and if they do, they still need to be sort of reamed out, and again, this is sort of like the perfect combination at a great price point. So if you're into 3D printing, you know, again, this is something worthwhile picking up. Uh, because I'll have the sizes down below. So, you know, I'm, again, I think this starts out at 3 and I can't quite tell what this goes up to. I think this is an M8. So uh, without my real magnifying glasses, it's hard to say. Uh, but again, I'll have it down below so you can see what you get but again I wanted to share this because I think this is, again is an interesting buy for the 3d printing hobbyist now again I do metalworking and things like that so I've got a bunch of these um, in far more expensive ones but for just doing 3d printed plastic I think this is a great buy so anyways I'll have a link to this down below hopefully you found it interesting if you did give it a big thumbs up let me know what else I can maybe use this for in 3d printing or what have you I'd like to hear about it in the comments and don't forget the subscribe button bell swag shop in the corner and we'll see you guys in the next video where we put this to good use cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel